Well, hello folks and welcome to Homesteader News. Hey, uh, sometimes I've talked about life hands us uh, lemons instead of oranges and we have to learn how to make lemonade. Well, I had an experience here at my homestead today. Uh, wasn't expecting and a uh, little bit of a setback and some plans. Uh, but uh, let me show you what we had happen here. Yeah, see that nice big black patch? It goes all the way back there. And what happened is my brother was deciding to burn off some weeds on his ditch bank, and it got out of hand. And it burned clear up through my ditch bank and clear up through my property. And it uh, managed to take out a couple of my camp traders, a couple of my older camp traders, not my good one that I... I managed to hook onto it with the truck and get it out of here because it actually came awful close to burning up my cabin. Uh, as you can see it went right along the fence bank and there was a lot of high weeds on the other side of that fence and it burnt clear up and it burnt my cedar fence down right up to my backyard. And it burned it real good. Took the fence down but we managed to get it stopped before it went any farther than that, and luckily the fence was there because that acted like a fire break and at least stopped the fire there. Because if it got into my backyard, you can see my propane tanks in my cabin right there. So it got within about four feet of my cabin before we finally got it out. And we had to have the fire trucks come up and help us because it was a blazer. Uh, the only real damage was to my old camp traders. And, uh... He got around this, got this camp trader pretty good. And uh, it won't be used as a camp trader anymore because you wouldn't dare sleep in it. Uh, it actually got into the framework and smoked it up inside and so. But, here's the deal. What I'm going to do is this still has a really good steel frame, heavy duty axles. And the appliances inside weren't hurt. It's got a stove and a fridge and a few other things in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tear the shell off of this old camper. I'm going to turn that into a house on wheels. Uh, that's fully insulated, ready to go for winter, and that'll be a project for this year. Now, the other camp trailer, it wasn't so lucky. It uh, was a total loss. But luckily, it was it was the one that I'd already taken all my appliances out from my cabin. As you can see it there, it's a total loss. We might be able to salvage the frame. Not sure yet. I'm thinking we might be able to salvage the frame out of that for something. Uh, but it, it burned it right down to the ground. And uh, I had just sold this camper to my brother for a couple hundred bucks. He was going to take it up and use it for a spare room on uh, his place up there. And I'd just been using it for some storage. It was a nice 1964 Roadrunner camper. Uh, one of the better expensive models. Uh, I bought it cheap because it was old, but it was a really nice, well-built one. Anyway, the fire took that out, and as you can see, my brother's field over there where he started burning. He was just going to burn off a little patch of weeds along his ditch bank there. And it was a calm day, and all of a sudden the wind kicked up, and that's all it took, and it kicked it up, you can see, into some of these high patches of weeds. Kicked it up into some of those high patches of weeds, and it, he, we tried to get in front of it with our shovels and was pounding the hell out of the ground trying to get in front of it but when it gets burning like that it's so hot and so smoky you can't even get up close to it and the wind turned and shifted and it took it right from his field and it brought it right into my yard and it did a number on it now the good thing is even though this looks real ugly right now it actually isn't that big a deal other than it burned up some trash that I probably need to get out of here anyway uh, the weeds it burned down this will all come back up now in fresh new green grass, even greener than it was before. Uh, it'll take a little while, a month or two. As soon as the rain hits on it, it'll wash most of this black off. Uh, we managed to get it out before it got up into the orchard or out into the fields or anything like that. But, that's the lemons that I was handed today. And, the only serious damage, which isn't much, is that old camp trailer. And now it just gives me a project to work on for summer. I'll tear that off and build me a little house on wheels that's better insulated and made for year-round use. 
So I'll be putting up videos of that as I get on the progress on that. So anyway, I thought I'd just share my little experience living on the homestead. Now when you live out in rural areas like we do out here, there isn't any uh, fire plugs out on the road. We don't even have city water out here. All our water comes from wells. So there's no city water and no fire plugs out here. So if you get into trouble, fire department has to bring up a tanker, and that's what they did. They brought up a tanker full of water, and uh, they had a couple fire trucks out here spraying everything down, make sure it was taken care of. And panicked me a little bit. You can see my motorcycle sitting out there. I ran out and grabbed my motorcycle, moved that away from the cabin because I thought it was going to take the cabin out for sure. And I hooked onto my other nicer camp trailer and I pulled that away from the cabin. And I grabbed my generator, which I just bought, and I hauled, hauled that away from the cabin. And I figured, well, if I got that stuff away, I grabbed my money box and my file box, my computer. And that was about all I got out of the cabin. I figured if the rest of it burned up, I could always start over again. Uh, luckily, we won't have to do that. So the cabin survived. And it was a learning experience to keep your weeds. Always keep your weeds down around away from your house. Keep them mowed down, get you some animals to keep the, the grasses ate down, do something, otherwise you're going to end up with a burnt spot like this at some point in your life. All right, folks. Well, you have a good day. It looks like I got my work cut out for me. Time to get a dumpster up here and start hauling off some trash and deciding if I can salvage some trailers. You have a good day.